Sergey the Crusher Kovalev after his second back-to-back -back loss to Andre Ward, this time by stoppage, considering a move in weight and also switching trainers. Stay tuned. Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button also subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Now, we just got past the rematch for Kovalev Ward. No excuses. There are no excuses. I'm not trying to hear anything. This was the end-all be-all to determine what happened in the first fight and Kovalev came up on the losing side and I, I told you guys several times if if people want to use the low blow excuse as a scapegoat you have to understand simple boxing if no matter what if you're getting low blowed or someone's fighting dirty you cannot look completely vulnerable and defenseless Just protect yourself at all times in front of the referee i.e. not throwing any punches back, staggering back, just falling onto the ropes like you have no energy, the turnbuckle and stuff like that. You cannot do that because the minute someone jumps on top of you, just like UFC is no different. I've seen guys and maybe when they're on the ground, they're shelling up, they're not even getting hit flush, but a punch opened up that sequence, then they fell to the mat and then someone's on top of them, you're not throwing back. It's going to get stopped. So you have to know how to survive those moments because that's what fighters are trained to do. Fighters are trained to, Danny Jacobs actually said this in his fight with Peter Quillen. He says, we got something in Brooklyn, it's called the Rumble. And he had Peter Quillen hurt with a big shot. Peter Quillen's kind of spilling over and staggering. And what Daniel Jacobs did next was just put punches together, just let him rip. And not all those, I don't think any of the punches were as forceful as the first punch that set everything up, but he forced the stoppage. And that's a similar situation, but there's no controversy here moving on Kovalev there's an interview I guess he did with a Russian based newsprint and I don't speak Russian so I had to have it translated so the the translation might be slightly off but he talked about moving in weight and this is what it says translated looking at me you see that the immunity has sat down due to the weight loss maybe it makes sense to change the weight category and the next fight maybe will be at the, this says heavyweight, but I don't think he meant... I think that's the loose translation. I think he's saying a heavier weight because that would be stupid for Kovalev to go up to heavyweight and you just got stopped at light heavyweight. So I think he's talking about one division higher at cruiserweight. But if you translate it, use like a translation site like I'm doing, then it's going to look like he's saying he's going to heavyweight. But he's pretty much... I think what he's trying to say is a heavier weight. Right, and I'm sure more will come out. I'll update you if, in fact, Kovalev is trying to go to heavyweight, but I don't think that's what that means. I think that's a loose translation. I think he's saying a heavier weight, but this is my interpretation. But it doesn't make sense to jump. But that's, I mean, that's what Kell Brook did jump up two divisions, and why would you do it off of a loss? So I'm pretty sure he's he's considering the idea of moving up one weight class, and he says maybe it makes sense. He says, My body is exhausted, I feel comfortable in weight up to 85. KG further problems begin right so he's saying like weight is now an issue so um, a lot of speculation Virgil Hunter he actually said I'll train Kovalev if you want you want to learn of something new Virgil Hunter is pretty much a man of his word and he has no reason to hold a grudge your fighter did the damn thing versus him twice so you know I me mean? move on you see guys like Pacquiao and Cotto you know I me mean? Freddie Roach trained Pacquiao to beat Cotto and then Cotto later went with Freddie Roach. So this type of stuff happens in boxing. Sometimes you like you get a newfound appreciation for somebody. Like, damn, this dude beat me. Maybe he has some some insight. So I'm not really sure what's up with Kovalev. To me, I told you guys, it's going to be very imperative Kovalev's next move because the fans can't save you in this one. Like, with oh, it's a low blow and all that. Why is he considering moving up in weight? To me, that's, that says something because... There's a lot of great fights outside of Andre Ward for Kovalev at light heavyweight, right? And 
there's fights with Adonis Stevenson. That's a long time beef. Even though he doesn't have a belt, I'm sure Adonis Steve. I mean, that Kovalev even losing is still better than a ton of guys that Stevenson has recently fought. I would watch that, right? You have Arthur Better Beev, an amateur rematch from back in the day. You have Joe Smith Jr., Sullivan Barrera. He hasn't fought either. Ward fought Sullivan Barrera and beat him. But I seen a picture of Joe Smith Jr. and and Kovalev, and Smith Jr. looked bigger than Kovalev. And he's strong. We know he's strong, but Kovalev probably has better technique than Joe Smith Jr. So, anyway, you slice it, there's good fights at light heavyweight. To me, it seems kind of Kovalev is looking for something to blame it on. Like, I didn't feel like myself and stuff like that. So, it is what it is. You guys let me know what you think this means, but Kovalev is talking about exploring a different trainer, possibly, and newer weights. So, I think you should say at light heavyweight. I don't think weight was what caused this. I think it was the fact that he had someone stand up to him, which he's not used to. But you guys interpret how you want. Drop me a comment. Let me know what should be next. Should he take a tune-up? Should he go right back into the fire? But again, if it's if he lost because of a low blow, like some of the channels and different writers and people are, are trying to create this narrative, then he needs to jump right back into the fire because you shouldn't have a loss of confidence because you got cheated out of the win if that's what they really feel. So fight better be of next. Fight Adonis Stevenson next. You know what I mean? That's that's just straight up. Let me know what this means to you. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you share the video. Like the video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off.